Hello, I'm Peter Barnes, harpsichord maker and repairer. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a plectrum on your harpsichord. So first, here are the tools that I need. A good bright light, a voicing block, this is a nice sharp craft knife, it's got a number 11 blade, um, available from eBay. Um, here we go, this is long nose pliers. Um, if you can, get them with a smooth, um, not a serrated jaw. And of course you'll need replacement plectra, and these come from the early music shop. First step is to take the old plectrum out, and I do that by grabbing what remains and pushing it from the front of the jack to the back with the long nose pliers, and take it out from the back. The next step is to take a new plectrum, make sure that you've got the smooth side uppermost and insert it from the back of the jack to the front, edging it in with the long nose pliers little bit by little bit until it's nice and firm, bedded in, not too tightly. Now you're going to need to Trim off the back of the plectrum just to make sure it's completely flush and doesn't snag the strings behind. And then cut the front to length. There's a slight groove in the damper so I can estimate where this cut should be. And then try it for length in the harpsichord. Too long. So, back on the voicing block and cut a little bit more off. You should just see the end of the plectrum protruding out beyond the string. Still a little too long. Try that. Perfect. But it's still too loud. The next step, take the jack upside down again on the plectrum block and thin the plectrum to make it quieter and it's more flexible and therefore quieter. Take off a little bit at a time and keep trying it back in the instrument. So there you have it. The observant amongst you will notice that I've replaced a white plectrum where there used to be a black one. There seems to be very little difference in sound. Thank you for watching my demonstration. I hope that was useful. We're going to go on to tuning soon.